it's not this building. Some events. Seems that I remember that it was next to the retranslator tower. check it but unfortunately I honestly don't recall the specific location of okay maybe this is it yeah this is it this is where the second crime scene is Titanic ship of dreams welcome to the stream glad you could join us for desolate have you ever played this game before? Alright, we'll grab some of those. Search the crime scene and look for clues. You haven't? Okay. It's, uh, it's a pretty fun game. Oh. Strange note. Examine the note. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, I hope you've gotten this far and are already reading this note. I truly hope so, because otherwise I'll have to start all over, and I don't like to do that. You know, I still haven't managed to tell you about my experiment. Naturally, I would be much happier to discuss this in person but I'm afraid that you may interfere with my plans if we did. I'd like to know your opinion on something. Do you think humans are animals? No, I'm not interested in taxonomy. I'm just talking about real life. Or are you one of those fools who want to elevate humanity above, I don't know, dogs, rats, kangaroos? Some of them say that our spiritualist sets us apart. Others believe that only a higher order of being can create religion, and they are the psychos. They're the psychos, not me. They sit there and believe in something that has never been proven. I can't cut off one of their fingers and shove it into their mouth. It would be funny to me because in that moment when they are close to death, they will still maintain their ridiculous ideas about salvation and pray to their imaginary friend in the sky. That's them, but still others say humans are capable of abstract thought, as well as rational and irrational thought. And whole libraries of fruitless discussion that fall apart when they crash against the concrete wall of reality. The facts tell us that we are all dumb animals that have learned to walk, talk, and do what other animals could not. Do you know what gets me? The fact they argue. They foam at the mouth with formal language to propound their preposterous pre-propositions. 
All the while, we remain bloodthirsty animals who drain, who daily try to get a bite of other creatures. Even these debates serve to prove my point. You are me, and I am just as much of a bag of meat and bones as the cold corpse next to you. The only difference is I can still bite, and so can you. Uh, I'll put this whole island on the line to prove that to you. Yes, I can do that. After all, it doesn't belong to anyone, so it might as well belong to me. I don't look for meaning in my experimental methods. All these signs and symbols are just... Imagine that killing a person is like filling in a section of a page in a coloring book. I always love to color outside the lines. Who knows why, but they also scolded me for it, even though that's how I liked to do it, and I still like it. The next subject will be in sector... B5. Look carefully because I'm not going to just tell you where to go. I need a clean experiment. Okay. So this guy is basically. You uh, sick bastard. Yep. A first class AAA psycho. Psycho. Oh, Jay. Okay, so you changed your name. Okay, well, I'll have to be, uh, I'll sure to be prefer prepared for that in future streams. Titanic Ship of Dreams, that's a pretty good username. Your other phone was acting up, so you're using your kid's phone? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a, uh, it's a survival horror game. And, uh, thus you have to constantly, uh, you have to constantly be on the lookout for things to keep your, you know, to keep yourself from getting, going hungry and dying or going thirsty and dying and all that kind of a thing. Or I should say to keep yourself from starving and dehydrating and all that. But then, of course, there's the different beasts and creatures that you have to be uh, careful and look out for, too. And uh, uh, But it really is. It's really quite a very enjoyable, fun adventure game. You're playing uh, Dark Wood? Okay, I don't know. That name sounds familiar, but I don't think I've played it before. All right, so this area, yeah, this is right just across the way from the retranslator that we fixed earlier. Okay. Mysterious murders. All right, let's, uh, before we continue this one, let's go back to the main story. Madness. Because we have to find out a solution to the voice in our head. And he said it was C2. Oh yeah, that is way, way up here. Gosh. And then there's another translator. All right. So... This is going to be uh, a long way away. 888 meters. You've also been playing Enderall. How do you, how do you, en do you enjoy Enderall? How do you like it? I didn't really like it when I played it. And thanks so much for that follow, tit Titanic. I really appreciate that support. Under your under your new username, which is a really good one. But uh, yeah, Enderall, I really didn't like at all. Uh, I just really could not get into Enderall. It was a very well-made game. 
I mean, the guys that put it together, the guys and girls, I'm sure there were guys and gals that put it together both. Or whoever it was that put it together. Um, I mean, it's a remarkable mod, no question about that. I just never, I never could get into, into the story. Some of the mod, yeah, some of the modding is, uh, like the very beginning of Enderall, where y your character is the little girl, and the dad is Raduga. I mean, the dad is very, very messed up. And you're trying to fix dinner, uh, dinner, and then all of a sudden the whole cabin sets on fire. And it's just like a very twisted, sick... I don't know. The opening just didn't make any sense to me. I don't know why it was even there in the game. You see through the walls and stuff? That might have been, I guess I don't remember that, but that might be, uh, you might be having some graphical issues with something like that, I suppose. All right, let's go ahead and do a save here. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. All right, let's do, uh, what was it called, Raduga? All right, there we go. Yeah, if you're seeing through walls, I would imagine, I mean, unless it's specifically a game design in the game, which I don't remember because it's been so long since I've played Enderall. Uh, but it sounds like you might be having a graphical issue of some kind for some reason. I guess I should go ahead and get my perks. One skill and one ability. You know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna need lung capacity. Experimental chemist. Um, do I want Viking or do I want this one? Increases your combat performance. You know what? Um, I think I'm going to go with Viking right now. I don't know if I'm going to need the chemist one right away just yet. Gosh, I'm hungry now. And I'm parched. There we go. Some parts are good and some parts are bad. Yeah, like I say, it's a really, really well-made game. Story-wise, visual look, sound effects, music. It's a very well-made game. Very professional. A very amazing Skyrim mod. I just could not get into the story. I never got invested into any of the characters' lives. They just never felt important to me. And I just remember 
thinking most of the time that I was playing Ender, all, all I wanted to do was go back to Skyrim <laughs> and play Skyrim. So I just I never got into it. So now that it's the well, it's almost. I mean, we've just started in July. But during these summer months, Titanic, are, have you been doing quite a lot of uh, of uh, carpentry contract jobs, or has it been kind of slow this summer? Because I still remember that you are a professional carpenter, and I remember you talking about uh, how you, or it seemed like you were had said that uh, the summertime is when you guys get your busiest contract jobs. Here and there? Okay. So you're definitely keeping busy with that stuff then. Alright. Alright, so there's another... Or at least I think it's... Yeah. Here it is. Another retranslator tower up this way. And we'll take a look at it. And try to figure out what I need to repair it and get it up and running. off. He's coming over this way. See, did I get away? Nothing in the fridge. You haven't played Skyrim in a while? Yeah, it's been probably... It's been a little over a year since I've played Skyrim. Alright, so what do I need to repair this? A gas lamp and a toaster. I heard you. A gas lamp and a toaster. All right. So let's go grab a gas lamp and a toaster and get this retranslator repaired. Let me sneak up on this guy first. Who's there? <laughs> All right. So no gas lamp or toaster there. Yeah, I would like to get back into Skyrim, but I think 
the the thing that I want to do first before I even consider attempting to do that is oh crud. <coughs> The thing that I want to do before I even consider doing that is, uh... Is I want to purchase an SSD. Um... Just because, uh... Something that I've just been noticing more commonly with the games that I play, even with this game, uh, there's just the slightest noticeable amount of lag. And the games, and certainly even with my old Skyrim games, and especially when I mod them, they're just not smooth. And, uh... So I really need to get an SSD... to uh, to get more smooth gameplay. Uh, but that's going to be a little while before I can actually purchase an SSD. There's still a little bit out of my uh, out of my price range. And of course, the main problem with games like Skyrim for me and Fallout are the uh, load times. Uh, they really just take up so much of my game time and stream time that it just isn't enjoyable. So once I can get an SSD installed on my computer, Once I can get that done, Chernovsk. Once I can get that done, then uh, then I can start playing Skyrim again, and a fairly decent modded Skyrim, without concern, you know, without being concerned with uh, game lag and frame rate drops, and all of that kind of a thing. Got a call? Okay. Actually, you know what, guys? I need to take a quick intermission anyway. I got to take some medication. So, let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 